Today we're going to practice our rhythms using our song Doggy Doggy. So let's review it first. Take your hands, pat the beat. One, two, here we go. Doggy Doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from the home. Who has the bone? I have the bone. All right, so now we're going to play a little game that goes along with our song Doggy Doggy. And your job is going to be to guess who is singing I Have the Bone. And it's either going to be me, Mrs. Tomiko, I have the bone, or it might be Miss Davis, I have the bone, or Mr. Zhang, I have the bone. Okay, so now that you've heard each of us sing, your job is going to be to guess who is singing behind their doghouse. So when we sing the song, you're going to listen on I have the bone, and whoever you think is singing, you're going to point to their doghouse on the screen. All right, here we go. Get ready, listen carefully, and figure out who stole the bone. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from my home. Who has the bone? Did you figure out who did it? Point to the doghouse that belongs to the thief. I have the bone. Did you guess it right? Round two. Go ahead and hum along. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from my home. Who has the bone? I have the bone. Hmm, who did it this time? Point at their doghouse. Let's see if you're right. I have the bone. How did you do? Did you guess it right? Round three, listen for the soloist. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from my home. Who has the bone? I have the bone. Who did it this time? Without using your voice, point at who you think stole the bone. I have the bone. Did you guess it right? Last round. You can do it. Doggy, doggy, where's your bone? Someone stole it from my home. Who did it this time. Again, point at their house without talking. I have the bone. Good work, students. Thank you for playing the game with us. How did you do? Did you guess all of them correctly? Now that we have gotten the chance to play the game and review the song a few times, let's go ahead and build our rhythms. On the screen to the right there, you'll notice that I have boxes representing the beats as well as words above each box. On the bottom of that screen, I have bones. The whole bone represents one sound per beat, where the bone broken into two pieces represents two sounds per beat. Let's work together as a class and fill in the sounds per beat or the rhythm of our song Doggy Doggy. Let's start with the first box or the first beat. We have the word doggy over it. 
how many sounds or syllables does doggy have? Doggy has two sounds or two syllables, which means we should use the broken bone to show two sounds. Let's fill that in. Our next beat has the word doggy over it again. How many sounds do you think we should put in the beat? If you said two, you're correct. Our next box or beat has two words in it, but how many sounds or syllables do you hear? Where's your? You hear two sounds or two syllables for beat three. Beat four, we have one word, bone. How many sounds or syllables do you hear for the word bone? You hear only one sound. For beat five, on our next line here, we have the word someone. How many sounds or syllable do you hear for that? Someone is one word when you hear two sounds or two syllables. Next, we have stole it in beat six. Stole it is two sounds or two syllables giving us the two sound broken bone. Beat seven. We have the words from my above the box. How many syllables do you hear for from my? You hear two sounds or two syllables. Lastly on this page, beat eight has the word home above it. How many sounds or syllables is in the word home. If you said one, you're correct. Okay, second graders, so who remembers what we call it when there is one sound per beat? If you said ta or a quarter note, you are correct. Now when we have two sounds per beat, who remembers what we say for those? Yes, TT, and remember those are called eighth notes. With the information that Ms. Tomiko provided us, let's take our bone rhythms and turn them into ta and TTs. Very cool. Here is Ms. Davis explaining the next activity for us. For this next activity, we are going to need your classroom teacher to split your group in half. are going to be following me while we sing and clap the rhythms of Doggy Doggy. And the other half of you are going to be following Mrs. D'Amico while you pat the steady beat. So let's start. Ready, here we go. Ti-ti-ti-ti-ti-ti-ta. Ti-ti-ti-ti-ti-ti-ta. ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta Great job! Okay, now we're gonna switch. So this time my group is going to clap and sing the rhythm of Doggy Doggy while Miss Davis's group pats the steady beat. Here we go. One, two, ready, sing. Ti, 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 ta. Ti, 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 ta. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. Ta, ti, ti, 